Hi guys, welcome back to 5 Minute Music. You know your music lesson's going to be fun when it involves Play-Doh. Just don't tell my daughter that I took it from her stash because she might get upset. We're going to make Play-Doh treble clef. You know that the treble clef looks like this. Starts with a spiral around the G line. Comes up and down. I have to say though, I see some pretty creative versions when I look at kids' work. So we're going to get really good at it today. The first thing I want you to do is on a piece of paper, draw yourself a template. I've got one here, but I kind of cheated because it was already there. So I'm going to use a marker to draw another one. All right, so when we draw a treble clef, some people like to start from the bottom and go up and around. I like to start from the middle. I don't know if that's because I'm left-handed or crazy or what, but I like to start from the middle of the spiral, make a nice tight spiral around the G line. And when I say that, I mean this line here. This is the G line and the treble clef spirals around that G line. That's how you know where it should sit. So I like to start off with a nice spiral around the G line all the way up and then almost a straight line down. So when I do mine, a nice spiral around the G line and it kind of looks almost like a six, a weird six, all the way up and then basically a straight line down. Maybe it could be a bit nicer up here. Let's try again. Spiral around the G line, up and down. Spiral, up and down. Cool. I've got a few cool templates I can use for my Play-Doh. What else you might be able to make with Play-Doh? Try a bass clef or try some notes. Most of all, have fun. See you next time.